So yesterday it was 70 degrees outside and now <laughs> look at this. It's September, this is crazy. Oh, the snow makes me so happy. We're Karen Nate, and we've spent the last four years traveling to 100 countries. But 2020 brought us back to our home country of the United States of America, where we bought a converted Sprinter van and transitioned from living out of suitcases yes. to full-time van life. If you missed our last video, Nate just finished mountain biking 570 miles across Colorado, which turned out to be, without a doubt, the hardest physical challenge of his life. I did it! Oh, it's, it's heavy. And after reaching the finish line in Durango, we drove back to our friend's house in Leadville to spend the better part of a week recuperating from that intense adventure. This Colorado trail trip really put the van to the test. Kara took it down some super rough dirt roads. Woo! We spent most of the time camping off the grid and we slept three full-size adults in a van that's built for two people. After arriving here in Leadville, we pretty much moved into our friend's bed and breakfast and we've just been ignoring the fact that our van is a complete wreck. Just look at this. We've at least put all of our clothes into a bag now, minus all of the shoes and bike stuff. This area hasn't been used in days. I'm embarrassed. We've had a dirty van before, but it is past dirty. Like, it is absolutely filthy. This is bad. <laughs> Still for the bike truck. Still has oh, mud on it. And then the, the shower is turned into a storage unit. I think I was tired for the bike trip. Kara was tired of being in the van for 17 days. Plus, she's having to edit all the footage, so this is... Just a mess, that's the only way to describe it. <laughs> so we were planning on just taking the week off to knock all of this stuff out, but we thought it would be good to show more of a complete picture of van life instead of just the fun adventures. <laughs> Why won't it come off? Plus we have some super fun upgrades that we're making to the van this week that we wanted to share too. Good luck! It doesn't get much better than free access to a washer and dryer when you live in a van. And we have a lot of dirty clothes. Found some cool stickers in Nate's pocket. I almost washed these. And my trap sticky stole. So when we first moved into this van two and a half months ago, everything had a place perfectly in the drawers and in the cabinet. But now they look like this and this and this. And uh, this one's. So before I put all of these dishes away, I think it's time to just take everything out and reorganize all of it. Ew, literally dirty paper plates, like trash in our dishes drawer. I found our GoPro. Hello. We thought we lost it. Hello. Who goes there? Me. Hi, Frankie. Ready to back your way? I found myself some helpers. Zero. What is it? This. Ah, oh, it's our security system. Security system. That's right. What if someone Somehow I've made this? even more of a mess than I had before. Hello. Okay, I've only done three drawers so far, but I already feel so much better. This one has bowls, plates, smoothie cups, and my blender. Mugs, cups, drink stuff. We're uh, not the only ones doing work on our van today. Yep, we had a little fuel leak. So I got the Manly hair dryer out, also known as a heat gun and we just plug the hole with a, like a hex. It's gotta be better than duct tape, right? Rick's doing real manly work on his van today. <laughs> what are you doing on yours? So far, the plastic bucket is the best system that we've come up with. It uh, takes a while, but it's pretty easy.
This is like the worst design on the Sprinter van. You have to fill this up, but there's no way of knowing when it's full. And the liquid is super corrosive. I think it's just a recipe for disaster. Oh, I think I hear it. Wow. I guess we really needed that. Huh. The first week we were on the road, I hit a tree and this thing bent all the way back and hasn't worked ever since. So if the Wii Boost is working, this this light right here should be on. I'm going with the unplug it and plug it back in strategy. Huh. Set your multimeter to volts DC. You shouldn't have to have it. Rick and I fix things very similarly. It always <laughs> starts with watching a video on YouTube and then... Yeah. So it is getting power. So I think that there's a chance that I may have figured this out. I've been staring at this thing for 30 minutes now and I think I may have just fixed the Wii Boost. Replacement. Go in there. All right, the new fuse is in. Now I hook it back to the fuse box, plug it in, and we see if it works. Okay, the moment of truth. The real moment of... Okay, if the light turns green when I plug this cord in, I fixed it. Is it green? I can't see it. Oh! Oh, I was sure I'd fixed it. I have not missed this part of van life. After posting our bike series, we realized how many people were interested in how a family of four can travel in a Sprinter van. So, Ray's gonna give us a quick tour. So, we got the 170 wheelbase, the extended one. Adds about a foot and a half at the back. That's allowed us to have a little more space in the rear, which allowed us to put the second row of seats in without being too cramped. When we bought this thing, it was just like a standard cargo van. The cargo model of the Sprinter just has the front seats, but because we have a family of four, we needed to add a second row of seats to fit the kids. We got the swivel seats to make like a second living space. I know what a lot of people are probably interested in is how we fit a family of four in a, in a van. To be honest, it hasn't been too difficult. Our kids are still small. They're four and eight, so that helps. Once Evie gets to be about 12, we'll have to either pull a trailer or strap <laughs> it to the roof or something. I'm not sure what we're gonna do just yet. You know, our van's still a work in progress. Like a lot of Sprinter van owners, the DIYers, you know, we, we're always balancing, do we put the kitchen in, which we desperately need to do, this is where it'll go, or do we go on that raft trip or go on that bike trip? or go on that climbing trip, or do any of the other amazing adventurous things you can do in Colorado. So we found ourselves in this kind of position where it works, we can sleep. This <laughs> is my kitchen, the <laughs> fridge, which is amazing. It can hold food for five days for us. Or four cases of beer. <laughs> and I have my camp kitchen, so this is like my plates and dishes and knives and full fresh food, my washing up sink, and anything else that when we're on jolty roads, I just put in here, because it actually seems to stay pretty stable. Hasn't fallen down before. But cooking in here right now is kind of tricky, so that's why we're lucky it's summer. I just use our car camping stove, which is like our Coleman two burner, and I just pull this out. So but you, do, easy. But you don't actually cook in the van. Yeah. Rarely, like you guys saw me, I cook maybe in the garage, but I like walk outside to cook. In the garage. In the, <laughs> this is upstairs, the downstairs, and the garage. This is our um, informal lounge. <laughs> That's the informal lounge. This is the formal yeah, this lounge. This is the formal lounge when we have company. When we have company. These are pretty nifty. These, we brick built these boxes. And I keep extra toilet paper, um, just wow. stuff that I don't need access to, a toolbox, a blanket. That's and a ton of storage and then you yeah. have to Tons of storage. Our wheel wells are still in there too. And That's so in crazy. here I keep emergency sleeping bags, a tent, our camp chairs. To put this in perspective, we almost have the exact same van. It's the 170 wheelbase, it's a high roof. Their van is just about a foot and a half longer than ours. But for some reason, every time I'm in here, I feel like they have so much space. I think the main difference is that your van is like a New York City apartment <laughs> and ours is like a Colorado garage. Ski bum. Yeah. Okay. Bottom bed. 350 for the top bed and then for the bottom bed. There you go. Is that it? Time. That's it. 
Time, 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 time. Oh, the bottom bed was so much faster. So, this is where we sleep. And this and is where I sleep on this side. We sometimes and when it's places. super crooked, we either put our hands on this end or this end. This our the clothes other are up there. When I wake and up, we have to step on the fridge to get up there. And they're hanging on the carabiners. Oh. <laughs> this is my sock and undies. This and is my these are and my undies. shirts and pants. These are my shirts and pants. And Mom and Dad sleep up here. And they have a fan and they turn it on every yeah, night. Yeah, this is how they turn it on. They press this button. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, the bathroom tour. So for the bathroom for our family, we, we only wanted the best. We went with like a real top of the line bathroom. We were actually in Walmart looking for toothbrushes. And we found this thing for forty nine ninety nine. I think we also bought Battleship at this and, uh, and we just put it in here. Oh, we had to take it out of the box. Yeah, I would say less than 10 seconds. <laughs> you do your business and then that's a flush. But to be yeah. honest, we don't even use that. We, uh, we, we have, use the high pressure flush. This is a high pressure flush. <laughs> so this is the eco flush because we're very environmentally conscious. You just do just one of those. Just squirt that in there. All right, last question. Where is everybody else when you're, you know? Well, this is the best part about this toilet. So... <laughs> It's a family affair. We have conversations, we play board games sometimes. That doubles as a chair. You basically just sit there and do your business and wave hi to people sleeping up here. Even Frankie playing down here. As you can tell, the kitchen and the bathroom are almost the same thing. Kitchen, bathroom, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> more kitchen. Well, thank you for the van tour. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Well done. Good job, Jules. So up to this point, we've been pretty content with everything in the van, but after caravanning with Rick and Beck for 17 days down the Colorado Trail, we realized there were a few upgrades that we wanted to make. The biggest one being a heater. <laughs> we would all get in this van on those cold mountain nights and just snuggle up with each other in this warm van and then we'd have to get out in the freezing cold and go back to our van it was that and last week it snowed eight inches in september this is also why we're getting a heater we just want the the flexibility to not have to run away from this we're also super excited to install an alternator charger, which essentially lets the batteries that are in the back of the van charge while we drive. We usually end up having to find a place to plug in, which means paying for a campground for the night when realistically there's plenty of good free camping spots in most places. So it'd be super nice just to be able to get in the van, start up the car, go for a little drive and let everything charge back up. Last but not least, this is one of those things that's more of a preference than an actual need, but we realize just how clean an in-dash backup camera looks. Instead of this thing right here that's just kind of an eyesore on the dashboard and only works about 50% of the time. Most of you will probably be happy to hear that Nate is not doing these upgrades himself. We are hiring a professional and it's the same guy who did Rick and Beck's van and he lives two hours away in Steamboat Springs, so that's where we're heading now. But I'm very sad that we're leaving Leadville. When we first came here, we thought we were just staying for the weekend. It has now been six weeks <laughs> and it really started to feel like home. We'll be back one day. I'm just sad I'm gonna lose this acclimation. My body's used to living at 10,000 feet right now. I feel like that's a rare thing to happen in life. I think we're a little lost. <laughs> Supposed to be spending the night in a parking lot or something. I don't know where he's trying to go right now. I'm not real sure where we're going. So we were planning on putting the van upgrades in this video, but the guys ended up uncovering some pretty serious safety issues. So this wire is going to start on fire before that's going to ever blow. And things got a little more interesting than we were expecting. So since our last few videos were over an hour long, we'll give you a little break and part two will post on Sunday. Toothpaste where nah. I brush my teeth and spit. That was disgusting. What was this? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Toothpaste? No. Oh no, it's cheese. 
I'm on a charcuterie board. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was wet. Why is everything in here wet? I should probably just throw that away. Where's all that mess coming from? <laughs> this drawer. Isn't it amazing that all of this fits in that tiny drawer? Why do you have so many cutting boards? I love cutting boards. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be in the narrator in our YouTube channel. You are? Yes. You know how you say, we're carrying it, and blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Great. Because my mom thinks I should do it. I she's can't too wait to see y'all's first video. She's too scared to talk to the camera. Really? Can I come in? Of course. Did <laughs> she wash this spoon? Hello. <laughs> Did you even Hello. wash it? Mm -hmm. There's literally vegetables still on the spoon. What the heck? They were supposed to clean it. <laughs> He was supposed to clean it. I want to hop on the bed. Do it. Can you hop over the drawer or do you need to close it? I can hop over the drawer. Wow. This is the one you did the your smoothie. That is how I make my smoothies. Yep. I'm sorry so much stuff is on the bed. Mom, is that on? Yeah. Oh, good. Yep. Is the cup that Kayla used for his smoothie. How do I look? Good. Tired. I look tired? Kind of. When you looked up, you were just... Yeah, I'm on the team too. Well, that's not good. I am tired though. Kira is tired. tired. Which place? How is she tired? I don't know why. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Me, Evie. So much fun. Which? The old avocado in <laughs> oh. You guys without children don't, yeah. I feel like. I don't normally find things like that. Avocados in If you the scrape the brown box. off, there's still a meal there. <laughs> Frankie would probably eat that. She would eat that.